everyone. Welcome to my studio. Thanks for being here. My name is Astrid Reeves and this is Astrid's Art Studio. So today I'm gonna to paint another painting for you and today I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna be all um, metallics like bronze and copper and <laughs> pick the paint off. <laughs> um, gold, you know, and just browns and neutrals and just play up the metallic part of the painting. So I'm also using a different pouring medium. I'm using Liquitex Pouring Medium Matte. If you have watched some of my earlier paintings, uh, I I've been using Golden Brand, so here's Liquitex. Give fair play, see how it uh, works out, okay? So I tried it with mixed with Lucas Krill paints. I may or may not <laughs> upload that video, we'll see. But um, yeah, it didn't quite work out like I wanted, like, like not even close. And uh, it turned into a very interesting abstract painting. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. So, uh, so then I thought, okay, well, let me just, maybe Lucas Krill paints and Liquitex don't uh, play well together. And just like uh, Holbein and Golden um, mediums don't play well together. So, uh, yeah, that's the trick. So I'm just going to try again. <laughs> oh, yes, courage. Courage and perseverance is really what it takes. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put down my base layer. I'm gonna do white at the top. Actually, white mixed with a little bit of um, off-white. I just want to blow that out and see what that turns into. Looks like I'm going to need more white. Ooh, that looks like that looks like fun already. And then here I've got oh my gosh, this is solidifying. Oh no, this is what happened in my last painting. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is uh, burnt umber and I added a little bit of black because I wanted a darker brown. So I'm going to do mostly white and just maybe go down like that. Yeah, because I don't, remember we don't want to cut the painting in half. And then here's the brown. Oh, that's nice and dark brown. So hopefully that'll uh, show up the bronzes and golds and coppers really well. Okay, let's see if it, you know what? I might, the gold, uh, golden, no, this is not golden. The Liquitex matte medium seems to form a skin on it very quickly with the blow dryer. So I'm going to try just my breath on this entire painting. I've never done that before, but just based on how the last one turned out, um, I might just show you a quick picture. <laughs> um, it really did. It just formed a skin. It wasn't dry, but it just formed this weird skin that then wouldn't move. It, it wasn't yeah, it looked dry. It really did. So anyway, I'm just going to move it around with one of these. Uh, sticks, one of these wooden sticks, and just do it that way because I don't want to repeat. I noticed that the bubbles uh, pop really quick, just like in the golden medium. Cool. All right. Neat. Okay, so far so good. I don't want the paints to mix yet. All right, it looks like I'm gonna need a little more white here. 
yeah, I might just have to develop a different technique, you know, um, because it's a different medium. All right, I don't want to mix these two colors too much. There we go, now it's going over the sides. Oh cool, it's kind of swirly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. I was worried I'd have a repeat. <laughs> like I said, I may or may not show you. All right, so all right, so let's put the metallics down, okay? I <laughs> forgot which way I was going with this. There we go. And put the gold down next. Right on top. Go kind of next to it too. There we go. And the copper. I love copper. Alright, so I think I might do just one this way and one that way. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to put the white and the brown down and just gonna continue to use my breath only, okay? I'm gonna put a little more here. Wow, I've got two stirrers. Okay, <laughs> I've never done this before, so let's see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so far so good. Wow, that looks really cool. Okay. 
Interesting. Well, uh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, you know, <laughs> it's sometimes it takes a minute to, for it to sink in because I, you know, I'm trying so hard and I really want it to work out and sometimes it doesn't. And so I had that in my, the back of my mind, like, oh my gosh, it might not work out. Um, and of course it always turns out differently than I expected, but that's not what I'm talking about. Sometimes it just doesn't work out, you know? And so you just have to try and try again, but, um, no, I like it. I think it worked out. I like it. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to actually show you a real dry painting this time. <laughs> I've been rushing. <laughs> You know, working on my timing with the painting and the videoing and letting it dry, but not quite having enough time to let it actually fully dry. So, um, so then you don't get the full matte effect. So, because certainly with a golden pouring medium, it's uh, glossy. And this is glossy too. So that means that as it dries, it's going to get uh, a matte look to it. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned. Okay, so here is the dried painting. And let me pan out just a little bit. Oh, it's, it's beautiful, the different gold and copper and bronze and the dark brown at the bottom. It's hard to get away from, <laughs> even with the matte, there we go, cover up the light so it's not glaring so much. Um, but yeah, as I was going to say, even with the matte medium, you know, it still catches the light and, uh, creates a slight glare, but, uh, yeah, so there you go. I put, I made some skins over here with the leftover paint. I just went playing, um, wanted to see how that turned out, uh, the matte medium compared to the gloss medium. The gloss medium of the Liquitex really makes really nice, strong, thick skin. So I wanted to see if the matte medium would do the same thing. So I think, thank goodness to uh, quick thinking on my feet. I didn't use a hairdryer this time and I was able to blow the colors around just with my breath. Now, I just want to point out that here, let's see if I can, yeah, there, Again, I have crazing. Let me get closer. See how it's just there and there. And that's from the different layers of paint drying at different speeds, right? And so here's a big one here all the way across. Oh my gosh. Definitely creates some interesting texture. It's called crazing. And, you know, it's a tech, that's the technical term for it. And, uh, you know, I'm still thinking about what I want to do with that. I could just leave it and have it create interest in the painting, or I could fill it in with the same colors, but maybe a different texture, just kind of add interest that way. So, so yeah, so it, def it definitely, I mean, not only was it cold overnight, um, I mean, when I walked in today, it was 63 in here, so that's not too bad. But I know that when I left yesterday, um, you know, it was 28% humidity. So definitely the top layer dried faster due to the lower humidity. So I'm definitely looking forward to summertime, even though I'm not a big fan of the humidity, but I'm hoping that that will help my paintings. <laughs> you know, at least dry more consistently. consistently. I don't mind the texture so much. I've kind of gotten used to it. I have to admit, I was kind of shocked at first going, oh my God, that's not what I wanted. But, um, but it definitely makes it interesting. So there you have it. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. This is Astrid Reeves of Astrid's Art Studio. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please uh, hit subscribe down below and ring the bell so that you get uh, notified every time I put up a new video every Sunday night. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Bye